Hi everyone, my name is Trent and I live, travel, and game out of my van. And today, I am somewhere beautiful. I've been spending a whole bunch of time out in the western side of the United States lately, and I decided to change it up this fall season. And I have found myself all the way up in the northeastern part of the United States in Maine. And since I'm in Maine, I want to try cooking a lobster inside of my van and feasting upon it while gaming on a beach somewhere. It's going to be freaking great. But that's enough jibber jabber for now. We need to go get some supplies. So uh, let's go. All right, Millie, let's go on a walk. Just check out where I camped last night. It is this boat ramp right here in the middle of this neighborhood nestled on this peninsula and it's got this gorgeous view of these islands back here this little area a local told me about they you can buy fresh fish and stuff here and then over here is a food truck that's really delicious that i ate at yesterday <laughs> good girl millie all right great thank you you're very welcome appreciate thank it Okay, I got the lobster. Now I'm gonna hit up a grocery store to get a few things. I'm thinking about getting some lettuce, avocado, making like a little salad with the lobster. I think it'll be real delicious. So we're gonna hit that up and then we're gonna go to this beach down the road, park up there, watch the sunset, and just vibe and eat some delicious Maine lobster. Okay, so the few things that are on my shopping list for today, uh, we got the lobster, we need celery, lettuce, and lemon. So this beach that we're going to is kind of in a weird spot. It's also in a little bit of a neighborhood. And as you'll see here, as we pull down this dirt road, there's someone's house literally right up on this road and on the beach. It's so weird. Check this out. It looks like we're just driving into someone's driveway, but no, this is an open park that you can go to and you just have to pass this person's house real quick. <laughs> All right, we made it to the beach and this place is freaking sweet. We're parked right up on the shore here. The tide's on its way out. The sun will be setting here soon. So I think this is gonna make for a really cozy, relaxing spot to cook some lobster and do some gaming. All right, I'm gonna bring this pot of water to a boil. Ouch. <laughs> That's gonna take a while because I do not have a top to this pot anymore. And while that's boiling, I'm going to get out the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so the game plan here is to make some sort of lobster salad. I'm gonna to toss the lobster in some mayonnaise with some spices, some celery, lay that over a bed of mixed lettuce with some tomato, and squeeze some lemon on top. I think it sounds pretty good, but we'll have to find out. So I may have started prepping that a little too early because I realized this pot is gonna take a very long time to boil this water because I lost the top to this somewhere. I have no idea where it went, but it's just gone. Maybe Spooky Ghost got it, I don't know. So while we let that boil, Millie, 
Do you want to go out and play fetch? Okay, Millie, we're going to find you a good stick. Help me find one, okay? That's a good stick, Millie. That's a really good stick. Can I have that stick? Really? Get this one. Get this stick. <laughs> this stick is better, I promise. Yeah, there you go. You ready? Go! Wait. Okay, get it. Good girl. Really? You wanna go in the water? You ready? Go get it! Good girl! Good job. Alright, let's see how that water is doing. Oh, not quite to a rolling boil, but it's getting there real quick. So let me pull out the lobster and start preparing that. You know, I forgot to put a bunch of salt in here. So we're gonna do it now. So I was looking up a recipe on how to make lobster here in Maine, and the way they do it is just boiling it in water with some salt. It's literally that simple. There's no Cajun seasoning or anything like that. And then you can just eat it with butter or eat it over a salad like how I'm about to do. All right, so the lobster is in there. I'm gonna let it cook for about 13 minutes or so, and then crack this sucker open, make a little salad, and eat it with this beautiful view. I'm gonna go ahead and boot up my PC because I'm gonna want a game later. Okay, time is up on this bad boy. Let's pull him out. Dang, that looks incredible. All right, I'm gonna let this cool for a bit before I start cracking it open and making a salad. And while that cools, I'm gonna play some Fortnite. It's definitely cooled down now. Time to break it open and get all the meat out of here. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how to do this. Ooh, there's one. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of meat and juices. So it seems I have greatly underestimated the amount of meat that comes out of one lobster. I feel like if I just chop this up enough, mix it with some mayonnaise, yeah, that's, that's enough to put over a little salad. And I've got some celery here that I've cut way too much of. I'm gonna put that in here, and I'm gonna scoop out some mayonnaise and some pepper. Lots of pepper, because I love pepper. And we're gonna give this a good mix. I'm gonna lay these tomatoes to make it look cool right here. I probably should have put these down first, but hey, I'm a dumb, stupid idiot. Placing the avocados like so. I'm gonna put a mound of this lobster right on top. Dang, hold up now. That's looking pretty good. Wow. Honestly, you know, I wish the tomatoes looked a little better, but this looks freaking delicious. I am kind of impressed with myself right now, but the real test is seeing how it tastes. <sighs> wow, this is incredible. Eating lobster on a beach that I made in my van. Life is good. Let's give this a taste test. Oh my gosh, that's good. Wow. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I was gonna squeeze some lemon on that and I forgot. 
Dang it. Yikes. I am officially out of water, so I'll have to go fill up tomorrow. That sucks. But it is what it is. All right, I think I am going to head outside and enjoy this beautiful sunset that we have here. That is gorgeous. Look at this, man. All right, I want to sit around and relax a little bit, enjoy this full tummy of food and this high from the beautiful sunset we just watched. And I'm going to play some games before we have to get out of here because I don't know if I mentioned it, but we can't stay here tonight because they don't allow camping. So I will have to do some stealth city camping here because finding campsites in Maine is actually surprisingly difficult, which I did not expect. All right, we're at 11 kills now at one of the last circles. Let's see if we can win this. Woohoohoo! Let's go! Victory Royale on a beach! All right, I think this is a good stopping point for now. I need to log off, start packing up the van, and get ready to head out of here because I have to be out of here by dark. By the way, the simplest van life gamer hack right here. This is how I make sure my monitor doesn't swivel around while I'm driving. I collapse it and I made this little zip tie here. I put it around this thing and boom, it doesn't go anywhere. All right, let's get this show on the road. Good morning, everyone. Last night, I stayed in this RV parking lot that's in the middle of town here. It's one of the only in town legal places to camp. And sometimes you just gotta work with what you got when it comes to campsites in some places. As I was saying before, finding good open remote nature campsites in Maine has been really difficult so far. A lot of my camping has been camping like this, but that's just a part of the lifestyle. But right now I'm taking Millie on a little morning stroll. And after this, I'm gonna walk around this little town here because it looks pretty cute. And I'm gonna try to find a local bakery. I'm a sucker for bakeries. And when I'm in town, I always gotta look at the local menu, see what they got. And then I'm thinking about driving more inland, more into the more mountainous areas where maybe I can find some more remote camping spots. But I don't know, we'll see. Can I also do a decaf coffee? Hot or iced? Ooh, iced would be great. Right. Where are you traveling from? Originally from Georgia. Okay. And I'm all over the place. Awesome, I love that. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite place so far? Probably Nevada, which sounds weird because it's just a big desert, but there's a lot of cool stuff over never... there. Maine's beautiful though. Oh. There's a lot of cool stuff around here. I've been here. here my whole life, so it's kind of like, mm -hmm. do you want room for cream? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> So some of these you do have to pay. Like That's this. okay. If I'm gonna worth do it. a I'm gonna do a star on the ones you have to pay. Okay. Okay. Anywho, what's your name? Trent. 
Trent, it's nice yeah. to meet you. I'm back. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate all of this. Yeah. This is awesome. Well, I hope that you uh, let me know if you end up going to any of these places. Of course. Thank you again. Enjoy your, oh, I'm sorry, your adventure across the country. All right, will do. And that, my friends, is why I shop local. It's a completely different experience when you go to local places. The customer service, the people, the food, it's always exceptionally more delicious. Well, not the people. The people are just nice. Not delicious. Anyway, she wrote down so many suggestions on these bags here of places to go check out. So maybe I won't be driving inland today. I'm gonna see if there's any of these places that maybe I could stealth camp at. I don't know, we'll see. Good morning. All right, let's taste this blueberry muffin that we got. Mmm. So I'm thinking like all these places that she suggested to me are all places you can just kind of visit. These aren't places that you can camp at, unfortunately. There's probably like paid campgrounds that we could stay at, but paid campgrounds up here are so expensive. They're like $50 a night or something. All right, Billy, let's hit the road. So I realized that I am very low on water. So I need to fill up today and I kind of want to stick coastal now. I don't know, talking to that local and her giving me all those recommendations kind of made me want to want to explore a little bit more around here. So I'm going to a place that was also recommended to me by another friend called Rockland. It's apparently a really cute little town right on the coast. Uh, not much like super open nature, remote camping spots there, but that's okay. Um, I came to Maine to explore the not only the nature, but also like the cute little towns that are scattered up and down the coast. So we're gonna go there today and see what it has to offer and also fill up on water. So for those of you guys that don't know, this is how I fill up on water. I find a public place that has a water spigot. This one has one right here. And I just hook up my hose to it, hook up my water filter, and then start filling up my tank. I've got a 40 gallon tank that's up under my bed that I use for washing dishes and showering. And then up under my sink, I've got a six gallon fresh water, purified water tank that I use for drinking. And I also have a two and a half gallon that I keep in my fridge. So I have about eight and a half gallons of drinking water, 40 gallons of dish and shower water. All right, looks like we're pretty full. I don't want to fill it up too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. So I use an app called iOverlander. It's an app that gives you a map of the area that you're in and a list of a bunch of different free and paid campsites all around and a lot of times they're not campsites they're like literally parking lots or parks or you know Walmarts or they're like really really cool remote places but there's this spot in town it's like a park that apparently I can park overnight at and maybe we can walk around and explore the town a bit and be right by the water so we're gonna go there okay so we made it into town and they've got some food trucks here I want to go check out so let's go Oh my gosh, they have a mac and cheese place. Is that what this is? Lobster mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. What's the go-to order here? Lots of lobster mac, of course. Okay. Buffalo, chicken bacon ranch, those are also good ones. Okay. You know what, screw it. Can I do the lobster mac and cheese? Of course. I'm living a little today. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Millie, we got you some treats. Look, this is all for you. Can you do a trick? Down? Good girl, good job. Okay, it's time to give this lobster mac a taste test. This looks incredible. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right, let's dig in. Wow, that was great. Let's go explore the town. <laughs> Good 
Good girl, Millie. Good job. Man, this is such a cute little area. I'm walking through a neighborhood right now and it just feels so fall. It's the best way that I can explain it. The air has that crispness to it. It almost smells different. Like fall has a certain smell and a certain feel. It's not that it's just a little colder. It's a little crispier, you know? And that paired with the foliage here, the architecture, the old architecture, I can feel change coming. And some of these leaves are already beginning to slightly change, which is really cool to see. Well, Millie's getting tired here, so I think we're gonna head back to the van and maybe find a lighthouse or something cool to watch the sunset at. I think that'll be fun. Okay, so we made it to the parking lot for the lighthouse. This area stays open until sunset and it's about one o'clock now. So I think I'm actually gonna just chill in the van for now, get some work done on my computer. And then when the sun starts to get lower in the sky, I'll go hike out and see that lighthouse. So we're gonna chill here for a bit. Getting a little chilly here. All right, we've been chilling for a couple of hours now and it's about five o'clock. So I think we're gonna head out to the lighthouse and see what we find. Millie, you ready to go on a little walk? Yeah? Me too. All right, time to disconnect my Starlink. Boom, let's bring this guy inside. Come. I'm actually super excited see this lighthouse. This area looks pretty cool. Millie, let's go see what's over here. I love these trees, these beautiful pines. Well, that's unfortunate. It says no pets or vehicles beyond this point. So, Millie, doesn't look like you're coming to the lighthouse. What a bummer, man. Oh well. Looks like I'll just have to take her on a brief little walk before we go to the lighthouse. It's okay, we've got plenty of time. Uh, it's only like five o'clock and the sun doesn't set until like seven something. Whoa, check this out. This is a cool little beach. Wow, this is awesome. This is reminding me of Oregon a lot. With these cliffs here and the pine trees. This is just Oregon, East Coast Oregon. Okay. Let's go back to the van, Millie. Wow. It's a lot smaller than I expected. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Not quite what I was expecting. I expected it to be way taller and maybe a little more open. I was hoping to like chill out around here and maybe watch the sunset, but I also forgot I'm on the East Coast. The sun sets in the West, so I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. I wanna ride one of those so bad. I'm gonna try to climb up here. This looks like a great spot to sit and chill for a bit. Look at this. This looks so cool. That little beach right there. This is so picturesque. I would love to go sit right over there. I honestly kind of feel like I'm in a different country right now. It's beautiful. Stumbling upon new places like this so unexpectedly gives me this unique high. 
I can't quite explain what it is, but all of a sudden I feel this sense of adrenaline and this overwhelming sense of life. Like I just feel exhilarated. This little grove of trees is super pretty. <sighs> All right, let's figure out where we're setting up camp for the night. Okay, it looks like on iOverlander, there is a Walmart nearby that we can stay overnight in and it's 14 minutes away. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Ah, home sweet home. For those of you guys that haven't been following me for a while and are wondering what that big dish is that I keep putting on top of my van is, that is Starlink, which is what allows me to get internet on the road in remote places pretty clutch and it's the only way I'm able to upload this video right now okay I'm gonna go ahead and start making some dinner because it's getting late and I'm getting tired and I want to just chill out around the van and eat some delicious food Millie how's your food you loving it <laughs> okay what I'm thinking about making tonight is something that's easy filling and delicious which is curry I need some broccoli peppers oh no do i have an onion please tell me i have an onion in here and this is one of the many reasons why i enjoy parking at a walmart parking lot overnight because walmart's kind of like your extended pantry or refrigerator if i forget something or if i need something i just go inside and get it so let's go get some onions two all we need got it let's do some cooking oh Millie you found your way onto the bed <laughs> you're so cute I love you okay so we're gonna do some broccoli dice up some onion some peppers with some chickpeas so delicious cook that in some uh, coconut milk with this curry paste and a few other spices. Now, let me just remind you guys that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not an expert chef by any means. I literally just put things together and if it tastes good, I keep eating it. And that's kind of what happened here. I really love just like sauteing veggies with some sort of protein. I've really been on a garbanzo kick lately and mixing that with this curry paste and some coconut milk, mm, it's good. Some curry powder, some turmeric, and some salt. I'm actually gonna close this door here because I don't wanna draw too much attention with my lights. And I'm also going to go ahead and put up my reflectix on my windows because as soon as it gets dark outside, if I have the lights on inside, you can see directly inside my van, which is kind of uncomfortable for me. All right, coming together nicely. All right, I'm going to throw in this coconut milk. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Dang it. I forgot to put in my curry paste. Dang, that is looking good. And while that simmers, I'm gonna boot up the PC, get that ready for some gaming, because honestly, I am just ready to relax. Today's been a very fun-filled day, full of action and adventure, but I'm ready to just sit down with a nice hot meal and game a little bit. All right, it's all done. Let's throw it in a bowl and chow down. Now, sometimes I eat this over rice to sort of extend the life of this pot, but tonight I'm kind of just feeling this.
So I'm booting up this game called Seven Days to Die, which is this open world survival crafting zombie apocalypse game, which is super fun to play. I've been playing a lot of this and Hardcore WoW lately, but I'm feeling this tonight. Okay, Millie. I think it's time to go outside and go on a little walk. You know, I will say, Walmart parking lot nights hit a little different. And I think that's because I feel comfortable here because I know that I'm allowed to be parking overnight here. In most Walmart locations, they allow you to park overnight in their parking lot. And this is one of many. And I'm very thankful for that. So I'm gonna get some good sleep tonight. Speaking of which, I'm ready to call it a night. It's been a fun-filled day, so I think once we get back inside, we're gonna hit the sack. There you go, Millie. Well, everyone, it's been a really fun couple of days. And honestly, I think this video is the best representation of what my day-to-day -day life is like while living and traveling out of a van. And if you can't tell, I tried something new with this video. And if you enjoyed this format, please let me know in the comments. But for those of you guys that are new to my channel and you have questions about my van and my lifestyle, I've got tons of videos on my channel that you should go check out. And I've even got links to all of the appliances that I used in my van build, as well as all my camera gear that I used to film these videos. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in that type of thing. But that's enough jibber jabber. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's been fun and I will see you in the next one. Say bye, Millie. <laughs>